Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another Warbots video and we're checking out drone microchips today. I know a lot of people get confused on these, so what we're going to do is take a look at each slot type separately. I'll make a video for each one and throw these on a playlist. All right, so hopefully this will help you understand what chips do what and which ones are good. So we're going to try and look at every single chip for every single slot type. All right. All right, so on this video, we are going to look at the B slot chips, and these are the chips that do damage. Remember, I'm gonna do a playlist where I have a video for the A, B, C, D slots, all that good stuff. So first off, these chips, my favorite by far is the on repair unit damage chip. Now, if you get a gold one, and if you can run two of these, that's 70% more damage you're gonna do every single time you use a repair unit so if you're running a robot that's got a advanced healing or a regular healing module on it this chip is the way to go this is the one you want the on repair unit this is by far my favorite damage chip out of them all all right love this one love this one now the, that chip does require power cells to work because you got to use your healing module which requires power cells and then that kicks on the extra damage now Another one that I really like is the well lockdown damage. Any of the ones that have something to do with being locked down, because right now the lockdown is all over the battlefield. If you find yourself being locked down constantly, you might want to put one of these chips on. This one's going to come on over and over and over. Every time you get locked down, all right, this thing is going to give you more damage. 35% more damage, you know, that, that's actually really good. 35% more damage every time you get locked down if you have a gold chip. So this is my next favorite chip. This is another really popular one, the on module use damage. So if you're not using a healing unit, but you got some other type of module on your robot, every time you use your phase shift, which you really don't want to use with this one, okay? Phase shift would be a waste, but if you're using a phase shift, bad idea, but it will work for a few seconds after your phase shift ends. If you're using a, a uh, you know, uh, what's that thing called? Oh my goodness gracious. Death mark. So if you're using something like a death mark or pretty much anything, a healing chip, a death mark, anything that, any module you use, you're going to get an additional 18% damage for 7 seconds with a gold one of these. Like I said, don't use it with the phase shift because after the phase shift ends, you're only going to have like 2 seconds worth of extra damage. So those two chips don't work well together. Now you got your chips that work with freezing. Now this is where it gets a little confusing because there's on freeze, on half freeze, on freeze immune. They all do the same exact thing. It's just something slightly different that triggers it. The immune chips, like if you've got an anti-control module, anytime your anti-control module comes on, the, the immune chips kick in, all right? The immune chips kick in every time your anti-control module comes on. Or, if you get frozen, after the freezing ends, you're immune to being frozen for a few seconds. And that also comes on. So, th that's kind of a win-win. The immune ones are great if you're using the anti-control modules on your robots. Now, for your suppression chips, you have the after, after suppression damage, which means when your uh, suppression ends, this chip kicks in, and you'll get 35% more damage for 7 seconds after you've been suppressed. You've got your on suppression, which once gives you 35% additional damage as soon as you get suppressed. And there's also, oh, this is the immune, on suppression immune, I'm sorry. Same thing. Same thing, this is kind of weird how they have these worded here. As soon as you become immune to suppression, when your when your control when your uh, anti-control chip or after the suppression is over, that's when this chip kicks in and works. And this one we looked at kind of does the same thing, except for this one's not going to work well with your anti-control. This one's only going to work after the suppression ends. All right, now you got your lockdown immune damage chips. So once you get locked down, that these things come on. Lockdown immune means as soon as you're immune to the lockdown effect, which when it ends, or as soon as your anti-control modules come on, you are going to get another 35% damage. So these are cool chips right here. 
you've got your while locked on damage, which means every time you get locked down, as soon as you become locked, bam, you do 35% more damage every single time you get locked down. All right, so that should give you a pretty good understanding of how the different lockdown, the different freeze, and the different suppression chips run, work. Those are all really awesome for doing extra damage, and those ones kick on without having to use any power cells to make those chips work. That's why I like these a lot, okay? Now, if you're running a Battleborn unit, this is pretty sweet. If your beacon runner has a Battleborn unit or something, the entire time that Battleborn becomes active, you're going to do an additional 35% damage. So if you're using a Battleborn, guys, the on-Battleborn damage chips are actually really freaking good. That will do a lot of damage for... Anti-control stays on for quite some time, so that will give you a long period of extra damage. So these are nice. These are nice, but only if you're running the Battleborn module. It won't work if you don't have that module installed. Now, if you're running a last stand, of course, this chip is only going to work one time per battle. That's the main reason I don't like this one as much, but as soon as your last stand kicks on, you're going to do an additional 35% damage. The last stand does last for five seconds, and that's only if you have the last stand maxed out. So if you have a maxed out last stand and a gold chip, every time your last stand kicks on, you will have 35% more damage for the next five seconds. It's a nice chip, not one of my favorites. I think some of the other chips are more handy, but still a good chip overall. So those are all the current B-type chips for the damage. All right, remember, more chips could be added to the game. But those are all the ones that I have right there. I know some of them get a little confusing. So hopefully this makes you understand exactly what they do. I mean, the oh, the on freeze, the on immune, the on this. Some of that gets a little confusing. So hopefully this video clears up exactly how some of those chips come on and what makes them trigger. I mean, a lot of those are all the exact same thing. They just have a slightly different trigger that makes them come on. All right, so the immune ones are cool. Remember, the immune ones are really good if you're running anti-controls. And even if you're not running an anti-control, those are just as good, honestly. All right, so let's go do a little gameplay, and then that's going to wrap this video up. Remember, these are all going to be on a playlist. I'll have a playlist for each chip type. All right, let's go do that gameplay. All right, so let's go ahead and drop in our little blitz. We're going to go ahead and try and get center beacon with him. I probably should have grabbed the Fafner. All right. I really should have grabbed the Fafner, but we're starting with the Blitz, guys. Blitz is cool, but he's just a little bit slow. Fafner and Orochi, I'm telling you, they're the best beacon runners right now because they can both get to the beacon faster than almost anything. Especially if you have some speed boosters or something going on. Great. We got Hellburners. We got Shells. We got Invaders. All things are going to mess me up if I run in there. So this is going to be rough. we got another Blitz. Oh, he's got a shield. He's going to be really easy to take out, I think, right? The Blitz with the shield isn't really that tough. So my little Magnums are going to whomp him a good one. Pop, 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 pop. Die, to die, to die, to die, to die, to die, to die. Phase. Oh, God. I thought I had the phase shift. We're going to heal it. That little thing's going to blow up and it's going to hurt. I hate Hellburners, guys. I hate Hellburners. They're horrible little turds. <laughs> They're horrible little turds. All right, don't blow up on me, dude. No. Come on, kill it, kill it. Jeez, that little dude's slippery. I don't even know if I'm hitting them, man. I can't even tell. What's going on here? Red turds be dead turds. That's all I got to say. All right, let's go after these guys. I see a shell. I see a shell. It's not good. It's rushing at us. We need to bust his shell wide open before he gets over here. So I'm going to... Oh, crap. Where'd he come from? All right. So I'm going to use my ability with the Clive Vicious Pilot and the healing module. That makes me almost immortal for a few seconds at least. Alright, that's going to make me crazy hard to kill. But we got to stay on this beacon or we're going to lose it, guys. When you're playing beacon games, the most important thing is beacon control. Oh, God, they got me. Alright, time to, time to get Mr. Fafner out. We're going to try and just go up in the air. We're going to fly right in here. We're going to womp on these dudes real quick from outside. He's far enough away that he's not going to hit me when he blows up. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, good job, guys. All right, we're going to fly him over here. Um, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? I want to kill this guy as quickly as possible. We got him. All right, we're going to go ahead and land. 
I'm gonna try and steal this beacon. Right now, I'm gonna get the most damage resistance when I'm on the ground. I did not expect two shells to come in here, so I'm gonna use that uh, healing mod. Come on, they're blowing me up. Stop it. All right, come on, come on. This is where I wish I would've kept the flamethrowers on this guy. Normally, I love the wasps on here, but right now, it would be really nice to have uh, a couple flamethrowers. That guy's blasting me off the beacons. Let's go after this one, right? He's wide open. Cool. We got him. This one's about to die again. All right. Let's go down here. Let's try and get inside of his little shield so we can romp on him that way. Would you all stop that, man? I'm not a ping pong ball. I think I'm sort of like some sort of ping pong ball, man. They're like ping ponging me all over the place. Just boop, 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 boop. I don't like that. <laughs> all right. We're going to go ahead and bring in our Demeter. Currently, our team is losing all of the beacons. Um, I'm going to find out which beacon should be the easiest to get right now. And I think there's... Is there two of them in center? I'm not 100% sure. Right, I'm going to go over here and help this guy. Let's see if we can heal him up and take this dude out real quick. And grab this beacon back. Come on, dude. You got to go. You got to go. All right, cool. We got it. That beacon is ours. Now we're going to rush into the center and take that. All right, as soon as that thing turns blue, it's center time. Let's get this little blitz out of here. See you later. We got to get the center back ASAP. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sweep. Good job, dude. We can burn up this Fenrir. He's coming at us. I'm going to go ahead and hit the healing right now. I'll protect my teammates with that, plus burn this guy up. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him. I need another flamethrower I can throw on this, actually. That would be nice to have three flamethrowers on this guy, to tell you the truth. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Fenrirs are tough. Fenrirs are tough. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, five seconds till I can heal everybody again. Oh, God, I'm going to die first. Crap sandwiches. All right, Shrenga. Let's bring in the Shrenga. Here's some bad guys. We're going to just stomp them real quick. Mr. Arthur's dead. All right. just right. We're just blowing them to bits. Mr. Nodens, you are next. We're going to red button that hawk because we don't want that thing to shoot me. I want to destroy him, though. All right. Let's get rid of their Nodens really quick. We just took out two Titans. All right. We're going to die pretty quick, but we just blew those guys to bits first. So it was totally worth it. We got rid of three Titans, I think before they finally took me out. So that was a huge help to my team, even though I died really fast. Sharenga's crazy hard to keep alive, but he can do some damage. He can do some damage, I will tell you this. Ba bam All right, they got two Nodens out. And I don't, I don't think we're gonna be able to win this game, unfortunately. That guy's gonna go invisible. I think he's after me. So we gotta deal with him real quick. All right. Pop up. There we go. There we go. I'm going to run over this way. Man, this is not good. I got scorpions. Now I'm stuck on an Arthur. He's... Oh. Oh my god. These titans are pushing... stuff. Man, titans, I hate y'all. <laughs> I hate y'all titans. They're, they're being mean to me, guys. They're being mean to me. They're pushing me all over the place. You guys are supposed to be my friends. I mean, that guy just ran me over. That guy just ran me over. I'm glad that uh, didn't. I'm glad we don't have friendly fire on this game, or I'd have probably died right there. All right, I'm trying to like duck underneath the covers. There. <laughs> if I put my head down, no, I'm not going to be able to see underneath of it. All right, come on, We got him with the EMP. Yes. We only got two weapons left, but these things still hit really hard. So. What's shooting me? I'm not even sure. Nobody's out in the open. We got... Oh, we might make a big old comeback right here. Someone's trying to steal our stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and hit him with EMP. I think it missed, unfortunately. I don't know... Ah. Uh. All right, Mr. Fenrir, you got to go in there and grab that center back right now. And we still got three, but we need to get that fourth one if we want to win because our bar will probably still run out if we don't grab that. Our bar will probably run out if we don't have that. So get in there, get in there. All right, cool. This beacon belongs to us. 
Come on, guys. We're losing. No, we're getting it back. Cool, cool, cool. No, we're losing one. Crap. We gotta get that beacon. We gotta have at least. As long as one of those stays gray, we'll be okay. I'm just gonna st stand back here and try and burn these guys up from far. I gotta try and make sure I can protect these beacons. That Fafnir is trying to get this one. He got it. Crap. Here comes this big dude. I'm gonna run back here. It's not good for me or anybody. Alright. Get the big dude. Get the big dude. Get the big dude. And this is this is tough. This is tough. Let's burn this little guy up. See you later. The good news is that big old Titan could not grab these beacons. So we just won this game, guys. We just won. That was a heck of a comeback. All right. We got it. We got it. Right now, their beacon bar is going to go down so fast, it's not even funny. Let's burn this dude up, right? I'm going to go ahead and hit the healing. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Yeah. Super comeback on that one. That was awesome. Awesome job, team. You guys rocked it out on that. You guys rocked it out. Nice. 3.9 million damage, 8 kills, 6 beacons. Yeah. I did well. My team did awesome. Look at that. Everybody had 2, two million to 5 million damage on our team. We were up against a 3-pack of guys. So, hey. That guy had 4, 4, 4. Those were some hard hitters over there. So, yeah. We did excellent. Awesome job, team. All right, I think that wraps this one up. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, yeah, we will catch you next time. See ya.